I tell you, the world just keeps getting nuttier, my god. Yesterday, the world was disturbed by a sleeping giant. A giant in which we all thought was settled. A story in which we thought we could finally put the tag and they all lived happily ever after on. But no, it seems it was anything but that. For a new arc in the Christine Chandler, the Chris Chan saga, has begun. Now this began a whole slew of adventures that Christine would have, jumping from jailhouse to jailhouse, in what I call the jailhouse rock saga of Christine's life, where Christine, on one occasion, would escape police custody while in a courthouse and be on the run, only to get detained again. And th th this just shows the kind of person we're dealing with at this point. But on March 27th of this year, you know, 2023, someone had posted Christine Chandler's bail bond, we don't know who, and we don't know where this came from. It came out of strictly left field. And I feel like this was part of Christine's plan, just not something that Christine planned a plan of. You know, it reminds me of that old quote, if we don't know what are doing, then our enemy, enemy can't anticipate an attack. And that just seems exactly what happened, because now Christine is free to roam about back in the fields. Now, this is a going conspiracy I have, but I believe that this is finally going to be the arc of Christine Chandler's life where the dimensional merge happens. For those who don't know, the dimensional merge was an idea brought up by Christine, stating that at some point in time, the world would be purged of its sins, and our universe would merge with that of Sonic Chu. And in this new world, Chris Chan would be our God slash Jesus Christ, and in this, in this multiverse... Chris Chan will cure homosexuality with their blood, as well as a bunch of other problems they seem fit, as well as Batman being there for some reason. I, I don't know what to tell you, but it sounds like a great time. And I think it's at this point, everyone's just kind of done. We're not laughing at Chris Chan anymore. Long are the days where Chris Chan snapped a Sonic 2 medallion and shoved half it up his boy hole, or the, de the times where he spun a blow-up doll on his gentleman's sausage round baby round like a record baby round for women on Skype calls. Long are those days. Those days are long gone. We are in a time where Chris Chan is so mentally unhinged that it's terrifying, and at the end of the day, we're not laughing anymore. It stopped being funny ages ago. And that, at this point, Chris Chan just needs some serious help, some serious R&R &R in the mental health department. Because, at this point, it's either watch and wait to see what happens next, or pray to God something doesn't happen next. And that Chris Chan from this bail bond just lives their life. They don't do any more stupid stuff. But we all know that's a far shot from glory.